Our word of the day, our word of the day comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20, verse 4. And it says, for the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Amen. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Amen. I think God is truly telling us today that the battles are his and not our own. The trials, the tribulations, and all the things that we go through while we're here on this earth, they all are his. We just need to be able to just surrender everything to him and let him guide us and lead us. He will save us. He will protect us. He is with us. Praise the Lord for that. In John 16, 33, it says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We will overcome the world as well. We just need to continue to endure the trials and tribulations because God is with us and we will go through it. If we words say we will have things that happen in this life and in this world. We go through things every day. Every day we wake up, it's always something that we have to deal with that happens that we see. But the fact is that the victory is the Lord and it's all his. He will fight the battles. He will right the wrongs. So all we need to do is just be at peace and be of good cheer and just trust in him. In Romans 8, verse 31, it says, What shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. Doesn't matter who is against us because we have God. God will not allow things to happen unless he allows things to happen. That's just how it goes. The world is full of evil and deceit and violence, but the God will not let it come near us. We see the tribulations and we see the problems and the issues that this world has, but God says he is with us. We don't need to worry about it, stress over it, we just need to continue to have faith and put our trust in him. In 1 Chronicles 29, chapter 29, verse 11, it says, Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, and the glory, the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. You are exalted as head over all. So we know God is the head over all. He sees everything. He has the power and the greatness. He will take care of us. He is truly with us. The things that we go in this through in this life is just for the, to strengthen us, to show us that we really can't do these things without the Lord. And we really can't. We can't get through these things on our own. We cannot have victory without him. So remember today that the Lord will fight our battles. The Lord will right our wrongs. The Lord will heal us and bless us and help us. He is truly with us. Amen. And 1 John 5, 4 says, for whatever, if, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. You know, in order for us to believe that God is with us, that God will fight our battles, that God will do right the wrongs and bless us, it truly comes down to faith. Having the faith to know that God will do it. Having the faith to know that he is with us. But Jesus was clearly talking all the time about those who believe. We have to believe. We have to have the faith to know. 
And if we have that faith or we don't have that faith, we don't have it, we ask. If we don't have belief, we ask. It's all just comes down to that. But getting through the trials and tribulations, the pain and the sufferings and the things that we go through in life, the unforgiveness and, and the anger and the bitterness that we have for certain things and just... You know, God definitely doesn't want us to carry all those things. We are not to be walking in the flesh. We are be to be walking in the spirit. And those things are truly of the flesh. Because we know the spirit is full of love and kindness and peace, long-suffering, patience. Those are the things of the spirit. But we know that it comes down to just put our faith and our trust in the Lord. He will give us those things when we ask. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this word today. Oop, I have another verse. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, it says, but thanks, be, but thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Couldn't forget that verse. Thanks be to God. Victory will be ours. We know it's coming. And we know that the Lord will give us the victory. Praise the Lord for that. So Heavenly Father, I thank you that you remind us today that the battles are truly not ours. They're all yours. We thank you for telling us that we will have trials and tribulations and we will go through these things in this world. But we know that it all comes down to faith, trusting in you to take care of everything, surrendering it all to you, and just listening for you to just lead us and guide us. So, Lord, we thank you. I pray you bless each and every one of my brothers and sisters today, those that are on the call, those that hear this in the future, that you help us increase our faith, help us to truly know that you will fight the battles, that we have the victories already. And we know that those who put their trust in you will be blessed. And so we just thank you for that as well. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, beautiful day in the Lord.